Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So we finally have the new Red Dead Online update seven months later. In July, we have the Naturalist DLC. And in this video, I will be talking about the basics of the Naturalist role. This will not be a complete guide. I will have my complete guide once I hit level 20 and I play this role extensively. Probably after like a week or two, I'll have an extensive guide on it. But in this video, this will talk about the basics of the role and what you need to know about it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started now. Okay, so starting off here, I want to mention two things. The first thing is the Outlaw Pass 3. Now, I highly recommend that you buy the Outlaw Pass 3. This costs 40 gold, but if you've been playing for some time like me, you have plenty of gold stocked up, just buy it, you will get all of your gold back. So if you complete the Outlaw Pass until October, you have plenty of time to complete it. It's easy to level it up. Some people level, level it up within two weeks. You will get all your gold back, plus plenty of rewards along the way. You get a 15% XP boost on the new Naturalist roll. As you level up the roll, you get a 25% XP boost and a 30% XP boost, so it'll help you level up faster. You also get 2,000 XP along the way and other things that you unlock along the way. The Outlaw Pass has a lot of things in it, but it is worth it. You get a lot of cash, gold, and XP bonuses, so make sure you get that early on. Like I said, you will get all your gold back, no problem, so take advantage of that. The next thing you want to do is before you, you go and initiate the first conversation, the first cutscene with Gus and Harriet, go to the general store right in Strawberry and pick up the advanced camera. The advanced camera is under the hunting and fishing tab. I wish I, I saw this camera earlier. I really wish I did because I've been spending most of the day taking pictures with a regular camera. It still works with taking animal pictures with a regular camera, but the advanced camera makes it so much easier because you're much more mobile and you can also crouch with it. So it's a lot easier to use. So pick up the advanced camera. Yes, it is a little pricey, but if you're going to be doing a naturalist role, I do definitely think it's worth it. Now that we've covered that, let's go talk to Gus and Harriet and let's watch the first cutscene introducing both of the new characters. Madam, Stop. please! No! Uh, I'll be right with you. I know you're up there! <laughs> oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need. The crazy wood nymph. Can a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther! <laughs> you savage! And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm hmm For stress. Is there any oh. animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right the with you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking us outside? I don't want to Shut cover. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> See him? The only thing he had on his sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches' brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some real work. You think work. this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's a no! The hell is that? Ah. Crazy ah. Ah. They ah. should throw you in an asylum. <laughs> oh, that's it! I quit! You can tell the mayor I'm <sighs> going home. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport. I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from Armadillo to Annisburg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. 
I would be willing to sell this to you. If you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species, and huh, promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you, I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. Let's learn from nature, not destroy it. Come on, I, I see something in you. Excellent, excellent. Oh, we've been brought together for a reason. I strongly feel that. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as they do, eat as they eat, hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I've seen. You just have to open your mind. <laughs> Join me on the voyage of discovery. Okay, so after that weird cutscene, you guys saw that I purchased the Animal Field Guide for 25 gold. Now, in order to do the the naturalist role, you need to purchase the Animal Field Guide for 25 gold. And you get the Animal Field Guide, you get the sample kit, and you get a map which shows the general area of the legendary animals. Now, let's start off with the two new characters. So we have two new characters here. We have Gus and we have Harriet. Now, Gus is that big guy, the hunter, and Harriet is that kind of crazy lady that just basically made us hallucinate with her little toxin there. So Gus, his, he, Gus and Harriet, they're all over the map in pretty much every province in the game except in Amberino. And Harriet is a magnifying glass, Gus is a paw. Let's start out with Harriet. Harriet is the first character that you should interact with. Now when we meet Harriet at her camp, let's start out with what we can buy from her. And the first thing you can buy is sedate, sedative varmint rounds. Buy all 200 on that. Stock up the max amount that you can on that because it takes so many sedative rounds to literally sedate an animal so make sure you stock up fully on that and she has a bunch of tonics here weight loss um weight gain uh, these tonics you unlock as you level up there is animal reviver it's five dollars per each one make sure you stock up on max if you have enough cash buy the max amount on it because that's going to help you later on with the roll and we have legendary animal pheromones which this provokes a scent from the legendary animals these are really expensive and it's six hundred dollars for max there we can also buy the camp from her the temporary camp that we can set up and we can also we can also buy different pamphlets for crafting now a lot of these they're locked behind level this update is kind of a little bit more pricey but on the other end i don't really mind it because i have so much money now the other things with her is we can do missions with her now the missions that we do with harriet these missions, they are kind of legendary animal sightings, these legendary animal sightings that we have. I'm assuming these missions are kind of like the legendary bounties that we had, you know, with the Frontiers Pursuits DLC last year. I haven't gotten up to level 5, so I can't say yet on it. But then we also have the poacher missions. And Harriet's poacher missions, these are pretty much the exact same thing as bootlegging missions, but themed towards a naturalist DLC. You go up to Harriet, you talk to her, this will spawn a generic naturalist mission, naturalist poacher mission, not too far from you. And basically in these missions, what you are doing for the most part is you are going to enemy camps and you kill the poachers there and then you release the animal i'm not sure if there's more missions than this but this is the mission that i got and these missions seem to have a massive cooldown on it like 30 minutes later i was still not able to play a mission so these missions have a pretty big cooldown on it it doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be really much rewards during this mission you do get a decent amount of xp so do them to, for xp to help you level up the naturalist role and make sure you also loot all the poachers bodies because you don't know you never know what you can find on them now as for the animal if it's a predatory animal that animal is pretty much going to attack you. So when you're going to be freeing the animal, what 
I would recommend doing is get on your horse, shoot it, and then run away because that animal can charge at you. I had a wolf here and that wolf charged at me. Good thing I was on my horse because I kind of predicted that that would happen. But these are basically generic missions that can help you level up. Right now, I don't see much rewards. There could be other rewards. I could be wrong, but I don't see any other rewards than XP right now for this. With Harriet, you can also sell samples to her, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's move on to the next character that we have here, Gus. Now, he is the paw on the map, and Gus does not seem to have any kind of missions, so Harriet, how she has the poacher missions. Gus doesn't seem to have any kind of missions. I found that a little disappointing, and you can sell stuff to Gus. Now, when you sell stuff to Gus, he is basically like another butcher, so I would not recommend selling any kind of pelts to him unless you're trying to craft something because in order for him to make stuff for you he can make different clothing for you different bandoliers different hats different jackets but you need to bring him certain carcasses and sell it to him you need to sell the carcass or you need to sell the pelt to him first and then he can craft that for you, you still have to buy it uh, most of these are cosmetics but some of them will keep you give you more warmth however there are trinkets now, trinkets, these might seem useless at first, they're kind of expensive. However, if you press R3 on the PS4 for more info, um, or you press the right stick on the Xbox, I'm not sure what button this would be on the PC, but if you press the info button, this will tell you these trinkets have special abilities. Now, if you take a look at this, for instance, we have the beaver tooth trinket, permanently slows degradation for guns by 10%. Player has a higher chance of receiving better quality pellets and skins from animals in perfect condition. Permanently increases player's horse bonding by 10%. Picking creeping thyme, oregano, oil, being able to pick certain herbs twice, and having a 10% slowdown on the cooldown for stamina drain. Now, I could see this being very effective for some of these trinkets, so I can see people buying these. You also have the saddlebags that you can buy from him, so I could definitely see people getting involved with the trinkets. But, you know, as for Gus to finish him off here, bring him pelts and other materials when you want him to craft something for you. But in terms of, you know, bringing other pelts that you don't need to him, don't do it. Just bring that to Crips. If you have like any pelts or anything else that you just want to get rid of, always bring that to Crips because he can create that for trader goods, for your trader business. Gus, he'll just give you cash, so basically he's like another butcher in a way. Additionally, in this DLC, we have a brand new weapon, the Elephant Rifle. This you can pick up at any gun store, so just go to a gun store, scroll through the catalog until you see Elephant Rifle. An Elephant Rifle will cost $580, if you have enough cash, just upgrade it all the way, increase the barrel on it, get the iron sights, and, you know, put the wrap on it also. This is not to be mistaken as a dull-barreled shotgun. Now, it looks very similar to dull-barreled shotgun, but it's actually a dull-barreled rifle. And this is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. This does not seem to have a lot of range on it. It has more range than a shotgun, and this will one-hit kill most enemies. Now, in real life, the elephant gun is used to basically take down really large animals. For it's used as a hunting weapon. I have tested this out on a few animals, and so has my friend. This has destroyed the pelts on a lot of the animals. Like, it's reduced three star to one star. On certain, maybe certain other animals, like larger ones, it won't have that much of a negative effect. But I will be testing this more further when I when I upload a review. So I'll be uploading a review of the elephant rifle, and in that I'll be testing this gun fully on it. But it's a new gun, so you might as well pick that up if you have the cash also for it. So now let's talk about the animal field guide, and this is what you originally got from Harriet, and this is what the most important part of this update, this is what you need to identify a lot of the animals. Now this field guide pretty much identifies almost all of the land animals in this game. The only animals that are not in this field guide are fish and birds. Everything that's on the ground is pretty much there, and it also shows you the different environments that they're in, like farmlands, wetlands, mountains and grasslands, forests and rivers, common critters, legendary animals. And if we go into this animal field guide, we can go through each of the animals. When going through this field guide, we can see exactly what we need to complete each animal, and the requirements are the same thing for each animal. However, you will need to take down that animal at least two times in order to get it, at least sedating it once and killing it once. Now, what you need to do is you need to track the animal. Tracking the animal is the easiest one. All you basically need to do is just follow the scent, just activate eagle eye, and then just hit track. 
That's all you pretty much need to do. Studying the animal, you get up behind the animal and you just hold R1 on the PS4. The animal can even see you and be running away from it. As long as you stay close to it, you can study it. Now the other one is kill the animal. That is pretty obvious. All you need to do is kill the animal. Then skinning, skinning. All you need to do is to skin the animal. You'll get the credit for that. Photograph, photograph, um, that you need to take a picture of the animal when it's alive. You cannot take a picture of the animal when it's dead or when it is sedated. The animal needs to be alive. It doesn't matter if the animal det detected you or not, just as long as you have the animal in the frame. One thing that's kind of annoying is that when you take the photo, it doesn't always show the notification, but sometimes it completes. Now, the other ones are sedated and sampled. Now, sedated and sampled. To sedate the animal, you need to use those sedative varmint ra rounds that you bought from Harriet. And basically for this, you need to spam at the animal. Now, some animals will take less, some will take more. You can't really one-hit kill an a one-hit sedate an animal, I should say, with this. And whenever you shoot an animal at this, even if it's a three-star, it will ruin what the animal is. So just keep sh shooting the animal with the sedative rounds until the animal is sedated. You can tell when the animal is sedated when you see a dark red X. When you see a dark red X, at that point, the animal is sedated. So you know, you know that it's sedated, it will limp for a few more meters, and then you got it. And then... Then at that point, in order to sample it, all you basically need to do is just go up to it and just sample it. You get the sample, and then you can also revive the animal. You get a little bit more XP if you do so. But here's a little bit of a warning. If you kill too many animals, Harriet will get pissed off at you, and she will not interact with you. And this happened to my friend. It's kind of ironic, considering the field guide that she sells us is telling us to kill animals, and that she gets pissed off when we're doing what her guide tells us to do. You know, it, it doesn't really make much sense. I understand they're trying to portray her as this, you know, environmental-friendly character, but at the same time, it doesn't really make much sense if she's the one that gave us this field guide. So just keep that in mind, that if you kill too many animals, she will not talk to you for some time. Additionally, you can take the samples that you have taken from these animals and you can sell this to Harriet. And this is one of the best ways to level up the role. You get 50 XP or 57 XP at the start of the Outlaw Pass, and this increases as you increase the Outlaw Pass to 25% more and 30% more. You also seem to get money for trading in these categories. Now, you see it's like $160 for trading in one category. Um, you get $680 for trading in another category. And this looks like you need to complete the whole set. And it looks like you can do this multiple times. So I think that once you complete the set, I think that the thing will probably reset and then you can do the same thing all over again. So we will have to test that out when I make my ultimate guide, but that's at least what it seems like to me that you will be able to do this multiple times. And uh, this will give the role a lot more replayability. But on the other hand, this is probably going to be one of the hardest roles to level up. This role is probably going to be very hard to level up because you're limited in the amount of, of things that you can do. So Harriet, she will give you XP when you sell the samples to her. Um, Gus, he won't give you any XP. He'll just give you money when you sell pelts or anything else to him. And on top of that, the samples, I think that you can sell these as a set also because whenever I get the sample, it tells me like one of the 12 or one of the 14. I wonder if you sell them all together, if you get more kind of like the collections. I'll have to test that out fully, but that's what it seems like to me right now. And a quick tip that I wanted to give out in order to help people, what I've done to complete animals pretty quickly, is if I see like a group of animals, and I know I haven't completed that that set at all yet, what I will do is the first thing I'll do is I'll track the animal, then I will study the animal. In this case, I study the animal first and I track them. The animal spotted me. So if I see the same animals together in a group, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot and kill one animal. And then right after that is I'm going to sedate an animal. In this case, I sedated an animal first. I had the dark red X. That animal is going to collapse in a moment. And then I shot and killed this animal here. So I have two animals now. I have one that is sedated and I have one that is dead. So at this point, I got the... I got the completion for killing the animal, I got the completion for skinning the animal, I got the completion for tracking the animal, and I got the completion for studying the animal. Now I'm getting the completion for the sedation. And remember, you cannot study the animal when the animal, when the animal is sedated. You can't do that. You can't take a photo of the animal when it's sedated or when it's dead. It needs to be alive. And here's a tip. What I'd like to do to take quick photographs of animals, because the animal photographs can sometimes be pretty challenging, after I take this sample, what I'm going to do is I'm going to revive this cow elk. And the moment that you revive these animals, oftentimes they're going to run away. If it's a predator, it could attack you, so just make sure you keep an eye on that, but they're going to run away. But you will have a moment before they get up. So right when you're reviving them, if you haven't taken a picture, get the camera out, and right as they're getting up, it'll be a very easy shot to take, and you can take that picture. That's what I did in this moment. I was using the old camera here, ignore that, because 
because I hadn't got the advanced camera, but the, the tips still apply here. So pretty much use that advice, shoot one animal, if you see a group of them, shoot and kill one animal, and then sedate the other animal, go and skin the animal, go and collect a sample from the other animal, and if you had not take a picture, revive that animal, let, as it gets up, take the picture, it'll count. Remember, sometimes you don't get the notification for taking the picture, but you still get the credit. So that is pretty much it for going after these animals and collecting information on them. Now, as for the legendary animals, these animals, you would have to look at the map to see exactly where they are. And one early location that I recommend is I recommend just south of Coulter in Amberino. Now, this would be a good place to get your first legendary animal because this area, very few players go up here and there is a legendary fox that is here. Now, if you are near that legendary animal, you'll get a little yellow notification saying the legendary animal is nearby. And sometimes you'll have this yellow question mark blinking in the distance right over to that yellow question mark and you will see the legendary animal. Now, the legendary animal, you can also do the exact same things that you did with studying the animal, you can also kill the animal, you can skin the animal, and you will have to at least get two of the same legendary animals, you have to sedate one, and you will have to kill one to complete it. And what I've noticed is, you can't really lock on to the legendary animal, I don't know if this is a glitch, I'm assuming that this is part of the game, to make it more challenging going after legendary animals, so it's not just basically a point and shoot. So, it is a little more difficult to aim at that animal, I eventually killed the animal, it took a little bit of shots, but I got the animal, it took a bunch of shots actually with my lever action rifle, using that on the fox, got the fox here, I didn't want to skin it, um, I wanted to bring it to Crips first, I wanted to bring it to Crips and see what it does, and you can bring the legendary animals to Crips as well, and if you see right here, it gives like between 30 to 40% material just for this one legendary animal for the fox, so for larger ones, I can assume this is much larger, but I wouldn't do this yet for Crips, um, do this once you're past level 20 with a naturalist role, um, right now we want to focus on leveling up the role. So what I did was I had taken the animal since I already killed it. I couldn't, you know, sedate it. I took it to Gus just to see what Gus could do with it. And I wanted to see if he could craft something for me. And that's how I got that fox fox hat that I was wearing. Uh, Gus crafted it for me. Now it says that he needs a pelt. So I skinned the animal. I got credit for that and was going to get, you know, the outfit along the way. The thing is, though, is Gus didn't want to make the outfit for me at first. I was confused because I had the pelt. What you have to do is you have to sell the material to him first. So whatever material he needs to craft, you need to sell that to him first and then need to buy it. So a little bit of complicated there. The game didn't explain that to me. I thought I just had to hand him the pelt, but you need to sell the pelt to him first and then he will craft it for you. But legendary animals, keep an eye out for them. Um, they're much more valuable than traditional regular animals. And it's kind of a challenge looking for these new guys. So that is pretty much it for this intro here to this role. I'm sorry about this video being over 20 minutes. I tried my best to shorten it, but there was just so much information for me to cover. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and if anybody has any questions, post them down below. I will work my way on trying to level this role up as fast as I can, and I will try to have my ultimate guide out as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, you might not subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.